Good evening, Berkeley, and thank you for joining me for my twice-week update on the City of Berkeley's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm here today in my backyard, where I come every single day to not only enjoy sun and to experience nature, but also have time to reflect and have peace of mind. And I hope that you've been able to go outside during the shelter-in-place period to not only enjoy nature, but also get some exercise, which is important not just for your physical health, but also your mental health. It's been over six weeks since the shelter-in-place order was um, put in place. I know it's been difficult for many of us, including our small businesses and nonprofits, but I want to thank the Berkeley community for what you have done um, to help flatten the curve by staying at home to save lives, by practicing physical distancing, and also by wearing a face covering when you are outside. You're not only working to keep you safe, but keep your community safe and, and move us closer to being able to reopen our economy and lift the restrictions. So thank you, Berkeley, for what you've done. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank the many essential workers, not only our city staff, including our first responders that are working to keep our community safe, but also our city staff that are providing essential city services during this time. The frontline medical staff that are working to, to provide care for the sick and comfort for the families that have been affected by this virus. And the many Berkeley residents that have really stepped up organizing donations of face coverings and personal protective equipment, um, as well as providing donations of meals and donations to the Berkeley Relief Fund to support our small business, our arts nonprofits, and our residential tenants who've been affected by this pandemic. Thank you, Berkeley, for what you've done, and I know that we'll get through this and we'll be even stronger and more resilient as a community. I want to provide an update on the number of cases as of today. As of this morning, there are 60 confirmed cases of Berkeley residents who have contracted COVID-19. Sadly, we learned several weeks ago of one Berkeley resident who died due to complications related to COVID-19, but as of today, there are no other deaths. Um, 1,318 tests have been reported of Berkeley residents um, and 73 tests this week. And of the over 1,300 tests, there's an overall positive rate of 4.55%. Um, I think that just goes to show that our efforts to stay at home have made an impact to flatten the curve, not only in Berkeley, but also regionally. And we are working to expand access to testing. And I'm very proud today to announce that anyone in Berkeley who has COVID-19 symptoms can now get tested for free at the City of Berkeley's testing site. The CDC has provided nine possible symptoms of COVID-19, which include cough, shortness of breath, fever, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and loss of smell. And so if you have any of those symptoms and you are not able to get tested through your healthcare provider, please contact the City of Berkeley's test screening line at 510-981-5380. And know that testing does not replace sheltering in place or wearing face coverings, which is essential to reduce spread and to keep you and the community safe. Once again, if you would like to get tested or are not able to access testing, please visit the testing line at 510-981-5380. And lastly, Governor Newsom on Monday announced that the state is moving forward towards phase two of his four-phase plan to reopen our economy, including easing some restrictions on some businesses. And we are following very closely the state's efforts to reopen the economy and looking at the data on the local level to make our own decisions on how to ease some of the restrictions on businesses and lift the shelter in place order. So please know we are working um, to uh, not only um, look at the data and make decisions based on um, the number of positive cases and hospitalizations so that we have the capacity to deal with the surge in cases, um, but also making decisions that are prioritizing the safety of our community while also working to reopen our economy. Uh, we will be announcing very soon a plan uh, for how Berkeley will be transitioning, so please stay tuned, in consultation with our business community. And we are continuing to monitor the, the efforts of the state um, and work in coordination with regional health officers who've really been essential um, in our response to this pandemic. Lastly, I wanna invite you to join me this uh, Saturday for a virtual town hall with our City of Berkeley Health Officer Dr. Lisa Hernandez and City Manager D. Williams Ridley on our response to COVID-19. Um, you can submit questions by visiting my website at jessieadegeen.com and you can watch the virtual town hall this Saturday at noon uh, by visiting my website jessieadegeen.com or by visiting my Facebook or YouTube page 
which is Berkeley Mayor Jesse Edeguin on Facebook or YouTube. So we look forward to you submitting your questions and addressing your questions and look forward to your participation this Saturday. Lastly, I just want to thank Berkeley for all that you've done over these past uh, two months. Um, and please continue to stay at home to save lives. Please continue to practice physical distancing when you're outside, when you're not with your household. And please remember to wear a face covering. This is essential to reduce the spread of this deadly virus and to also keep our community safe and to help transition towards reopening our economy and lifting the restrictions. So please be safe, Berkeley. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. And thank you.